As always, the Rusty Gatenby Review would like to thank MacMan for our studio sponsorship. MacMan for all your Apple computer needs. Together again. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I want to hug you already. <laughs> it's been four seconds. You're not supposed to be laughing I'm at crying this. already. Oh, tears. <laughs> right? I am sweating. Wow. This studio we're in right now is our, uh, our very special studio. It's my basement. <laughs> Wayne's World. <laughs> well, this show is taking off. <laughs> I'm so glad that uh, <laughs> the Jeffersons moved on up. You're moving on down. Uh, welcome to the Rusty the Gamer Review. I don't know why I invited these friends of mine over. Actually, I'm so glad they did come over uh, because you are truly friends. We worked together for so long, right? Sure did. Yeah, and it's did. and this is a rare opportunity. It might be the last time we're on TV. Together oh, again, together. right? Okay, okay, I need to be I on TV crying. again. <laughs> what? By the way, where, where is the prompter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to uh, talk about things, but it, it seems not right. No, no, no. This is, I'm oh, supposed to be over And I think here. I'm... Yeah. Yeah, this is totally... Yeah. I need to be uh, looking at video of left side. Oh, you're tangled. You're, you're <laughs> there. Is this better? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we are in position. Uh, Brad, what is the time of temp? <laughs> Patrick, get ready to I'm go. I'm afraid go. that winter is uh, <laughs> coming way too quickly, you know, with Labor Day here. Rap, Born. Rusty, rap, yes. rap. Right? You know, as we uh, as we tape this, uh, Brad is, uh, you're on the road now. I mean, I'm on the road. Literally. I'm homeless and on the road. <laughs> after this, Please give money. No, I'm kidding. After today, <laughs> tomorrow, you leave the cities. I am leaving. Uh, condo downtown sold, and I'm headed to... The East Coast, where I came from. Ten years in the Midwest. A little yeah. over ten years, ten and a half years here, and it was so cool. I just kept staying. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be working in uh, Philadelphia, New York City TV stations. There. You know, I hear if you make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. <laughs> That's what they say. I'll <laughs> let you know. Because if I'm back at this round table in about three weeks, <laughs> <laughs> we're still here. <laughs> so for which one of us went that way? <laughs> well, how about this? Which one of us has ever been fired? <laughs> <laughs> Anyone? Show of hands? <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, oh, and Benita, you uh, can be found... Uh, StarTribune.com. I'm yeah. their video host. I mm -hmm. do their and little your, vignettes. Your pieces video. are awesome. Thank you. I have gotten some story ideas in the yeah. past from your vignettes. <laughs> That's so nice. I'll watch them and say, oh, we should do a story on it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's great. Maybe I belonged in a newspaper all along anyway. Well, explain uh, the gig specifically, because it is, is it just TV for the newspaper? It is. You know, uh, I think people are getting more of their news online these days yeah. so when they read our great stories on startribune.com they like to see the video with them so i help put them together bring my video experience and they're just a great group to work with what are the uh, differences um from broadcast television to what you're doing well you know it's not quite as immediate because newspaper you know we don't have a six o'clock newscast and a 10 o'clock newscast yeah. so we have a little more time to play with of course i still have that urgency i think we've got to get it on we've seen you out of stories i know i've been out of stories in recent yeah, months and I, right. I see you out there yeah. and i just feel like i need to do that but you know there's a little bit more time to play with when you're on the internet are you you're still friends with her out there or do you no her no she's my enemy <laughs> we're, we're on different sides now no, i'm kidding <laughs> people, well but do you get this you guys do people People still think you work at oh. uh, Channel Five because yeah. people, people say, still call me Patrick Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> well, they'll say oh, Patrick. I love you. It's, it's the TV lady, and I'm like, it's been a year and a half since sure, I've sure. worked there. But sure. thank you. Well, yeah. often I hear when I go to some stores that I frequent quite a bit, whether it's Target or Sam's, it's like, so do you have a job yet? Do you have a job yet? And you're like, it's Wednesday at noon, and I'm at Sam's. What is My that favorite. <laughs> I see all the time through Facebook. People are still asking him, what's the forecast? Yeah. For a week from now. Right. Well, hey, next Wednesday at 2, I have a picnic right, plan. Right, Is it going to be right, all right? right? And he'll answer. I right? just did answers. this with him. I was asking him a specific oh, personal a, forecast. Oh, movie night with yes, the kids. Right, yes. right. And so he's so nice. He gives me a personal forecast. And so. then when I saw that forecast change, I stopped what I was doing, you know, and I said, Update. kids, you're going to have to wait. I got to <laughs> get back to Vanita because I... 
want to get this one right. We, He's were, so great. we were going to be out on the deck, and I called Patrick as well, going, what are the chances? We were cutting it close, so I said, screw it. We'll just well, he said rain was coming in and looking. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, rain spooner uh, Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> what do you get a lot? Do you get uh, when people see you on the street? Is it? Do you have a job yet? It's it's a lot of that. and uh, Or... Yeah, we miss you. Can't wait to yeah. have you back. And, and it's fun. And we always end up talking uh, weather. But it's uh, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, I'm usually with the kids quite a bit, which is one of the best aspects of having a little bit of time off is that, you know, a whole summer time with the, with the kids, family, which has been fantastic. Yeah. But they roll their eyes, you know. <laughs> Francesca and William. Dad, are, get back to work. Get, we need you out of the house. Job. Yeah. <laughs> You're driving us crazy. <laughs> Why? And now they're going back to school, so what are you yeah. going to do? You're going to binge watch <laughs> what television? Do you, what, what, do you do, what are you doing Tuesday at yeah. 9.30? Yeah. I'll just, you got a whole selection of movies to watch. Yeah. Yeah. We, we could come on over, absolutely. Right. Like doing uh, stuff for uh, Bring Me the News out at the State Fair, I get a lot of It's almost, uh, they come up like they're somber. They're yeah. like, and the, like you yeah. suddenly, like you're a deceased person <laughs> right. in their I presence. Right. They're like, <laughs> it feels so bad. Yeah, they, they <laughs> miss you. They yeah. miss you. Oh, they yeah. do. Yeah, it, yeah, sure. It becomes kind of awkward. But it, was, <laughs> but it was weird not having you on TV on that opening day of the State Fair. I mean, that was such a tradition. And those people who wore those shirts with your picture yes, on it, too, I know, and everything. I know. Well, what, what have you done with all those sweaters, by the way? <laughs> They're upstairs. They're in the, the sweater museum I have. Uh, it's a room dedicated wall to wall to those sweaters. Well, fortunately, bring me the news and the show. We actually were able to uh, cover the State Fair <laughs> every day. <laughs> every day we were out there. But yeah. uh, So it was fun being out there at the State Fair and uh, seeing those folks. Uh, Patrick, you and I worked together nine years? Almost nine years. Nine yeah, years? And, uh, August 2000. You know, I was just thinking about tornado drills, you know, you have fire drills at school. When I grew up in Kansas, we had the nuclear disaster drills. Oh, yes. Did you guys have oh, that? We had, in, in, in California? California, earthquake Earthquake drills. drills. Yes. Did you have in Minnesota the nuclear YZ, disaster? Wyzetta, we had, there's rust on my Mercedes drill. <laughs> and we always recall the initial bond that we had, which was watching a Vikings-Packers game. Well, he, he was uh, the kid, new kid in town. I, he took me to a, to a game. And I said, We you stayed know. for a half. <laughs> I, I thought the and initial... And then we found our way to another place. And here and... I thought the initial bond was some State Fair concert that you guys went to. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that, was, that was down the road. That was down the road. You had to bring that up. <laughs> But I figure if he's if he's gonna become a Minnesotan, right, that was you gotta best. understand the Green Bay Viking right. rivalry. Mm -hmm. And I'd been in town for you know three or four weeks because it was pretty early in the season. Yeah, we go to that game and. Uh... We were like brothers ever since. Yeah. <laughs> I just didn't want any of the Packer chuckleheads in the building to sway him the wrong direction. <laughs> right. Smart. Right. I wanted Smart. to. No, you are a Viking fan. But you grew you up as a San a Francisco fan. fan. Oh, I was a. Yet, if the Vikings play San Francisco, you're rooting for the Vikings. Ab no, yeah, you absolutely. I mean, total, I grew up uh, yeah. with Joe Montana, Montana to Rice. I mean, that mm -hmm. was the connection. Then it became. Now it's going to be, I guess, uh, Castle to. Uh, Patterson connection is the one we're yeah. going to be uh, oh, watching seriously. or feeling. What do you think? Undefeated season, I'm calling it. Oh, my God. <laughs> what did you want? Right here. Right here. ESPN, right, right, exactly. <laughs> ESPN has them winning four games. Really? What is that? They've already won four I games, know, right? I know. Exactly. Good point. Right? they got to yeah. be at yeah. least a game or two better than last year. However, their season starts yeah. so tough. Their yeah. first six or seven games are brutal. Yeah. Well, uh, how, how about this for a segue? The Vikings may be a good team, but this was an excellent team because at one point we, we were looked amazing at five o'clock in the morning when you turned off your TV and you're at still waking one up. Point this team, we were number one in the ratings, right? Did we not win the May book mm -hmm. not too long well, ago? That's what we told you. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. A couple days left in May and not feeling like May though. And or the Patrick. Day joins us now. The Patrick. No. Good morning. The, as a first name, is, you know, as That's a middle name, it's kind of cool, because you can be like Jimmy the Squirrel or Freddy the, you know. <laughs> Jimmy, it's kind of, Jimmy you the know, Squirrel. You know, it's kind of like a gangster name. But when your first name is The. <laughs> what kind of a gangster is Jimmy the Squirrel? And then to, Oh, I treasured those yeah. early morning hours with you guys. And, you know, I know people are like, God, you laugh so much. But they're so funny. You should see and between the commercials. Seriously. Oh, oh. The stuff if we could air what 
went on between the commercials. That's the real fun. That's the I real am fun. surprised sometimes I did last as long as I did because my commercial breaks got a little R-rated. <laughs> <laughs> the crew could have thrown me under the bus. <laughs> my jokes are a little nightclub jokes. HR he line two. He would actually <laughs> test us, right? And he, hey, do you think I can get away with this in commercial? No. no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. We'll have a look at your forecast coming up at Rusty the Gaten Bee. He's got to look at traffic. I'm Don Corleone. Yeah, well, I'm Jimmy the Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nuts, I tell you. <laughs> the 8, 8.30 half hour on 45. Oh, yeah. We'd be oh. so loopy after being on the air for about four and a half hours. That was the best television. <laughs> was. In fact, some of those, uh, as Christmas gifts, uh, you would put together some highlights of some of those uh, moments. And I think... I think um, that's what people responded to, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Those um, funny moments, sure. You yeah, were saying that a, 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 an agent or a researcher was saying it's it is those moments between. I think for anybody, reading the yeah, news sure, yeah, that, reading the news can be reading the news, but it's the interaction of folks and well, you, you make that? them laugh and you they remember that. You hey, remember? you're that guy who made me laugh oh, in yeah. you know, 2008. <laughs> you met my friend Patrick. He has a Doppler. <laughs> Uh, it's getting hot in here, isn't it? <laughs> All right. You know what we should queue up? And I'm, I'm in post-production. We're probably going to add this. Did you ever see early Brad with a fly in his face? Oh, thank <laughs> you for that. 1993. That, this is so funny. <laughs> and yes, it really is me. <laughs> <laughs> you looked a little different. Did you, have you seen the video? I've, I've, yeah. It's awesome. And we're, we're, well, we're rolling the, the video right now. Well, and what let, is it and let me explain what's happening. I was new to anchoring. I was nervous. It wasn't just fly, but sweat was coming down. And all of a sudden... Some things never really change. Big, right, <laughs> this big fly starts walking around my face. I was working in South Carolina at the time. And the whole crew starts bursting out in laughter, which means the teleprompter person stops rolling the teleprompter. <laughs> so now I have nothing to read. <laughs> and, and a fly, and in a your fly face. is walking around my face. Did you feel it? Did you know it was there? Yeah, I didn't know what to do. I was so new, I'm thinking, well, maybe if I ignore it, they'll think it's on their TV. And sure enough... <laughs> That's what happened. People would write me saying they started. F <laughs> you didn't react, so we started f swatting our TV and realized. Oh, and funny. we got about three hundred phone calls back then. Yeah. Would you handle it differently today? Oh, I would m have so much fun with it today. <laughs> yeah. But at the time, I'm thinking, well, maybe nobody will notice. This yeah. is really bad TV. What I didn't realize is it's really good TV <laughs> yeah. because it's about 18 years later and we're still talking about it. <laughs> yeah. Because how old were you in the video? You look Boy, like you're like. 19. I would say I was. <laughs> I was probably 24. When did you go gray? What, how old are you? 19. No. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the gray is what they put in. Oh. <laughs> Boy. The gray early. means the money gray for you. Early. It doesn't for me. I got it. The first day I worked with him, I started knowing some, uh, seeing some <laughs> gray. That's true. Oh, That's been a long time. <laughs> well, I, there was a, I, I won't say his name, but he actually was putting gray into his hair so he could get further in bigger markets with the career. It does make a difference. Oh, wait, wow. you, who's I, the guy? For, uh, David Gregory, I think, did that from NBC News. Oh, did he? Uh -huh. Really? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No longer on Meet the Press, I guess. Too much gray. Too much gray. I've lost 10 pounds since the show started. It's like 900 degrees in here. <laughs> since this show started. This show. Yeah, yeah this show. This show. I know. Sorry. Wade's World. We, uh, for folks who don't know, before the show started. The next started, show is going to be from the bathroom, by the way. We made an... Yeah, but how, how much are you now looking forward to the Ice Bucket Challenge? Right, right. exactly. Right, uh, I do have to We do made that, a yeah. last-minute audible to move inside, and uh, it's, got a little, it's a little hot in here right now. <laughs> uh, come on and join us if you'd like. Uh, uh, I do, want to. Do you yeah. I don't I mean to interrupt. Do you just love doing this gig? It's uh, this gig, fun. this gig is fun, and part of it is um, you don't want to offend people who like you. For, you know, but you do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to offend you, <laughs> but I do anyway. But you do have more freedom, God damn it, to say things <laughs> wow. that you would never say. Like what else? I don't know. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is shocking me. <laughs> right? Why is it I see shocking? a PG. Do I hear an R? Do I hear an R? <laughs> I mean, that did shock you, right? I won't, you know, I don't want to upset or shock people, but there are, there are uh, subjects and things that you can talk about that you can't. Uh, that you never could on a broadcast television with a with a podcast. Okay. Plus, there plus there's nudity, of course. <laughs> wait, wait, that, that was not part of my contract. I just didn't say that right now. But there were a lot of times when you would do traffic reports where the three of us would look at each other, and go, "Where's he going with this? <laughs> what <laughs> direction is this? He's got to land the plane. I don't know. It's, 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 it's out of because then it would go straight to you, yeah. and you'd have to 
we go back to natural transition. I love that split screen with both of your faces. You know, what are they going to do? We still do it sometimes on Skype. We just put our faces and talk to each other like we're in a Brady box. The the chemistry for for people who are wondering, you know, when people talk about chemistry, how do you explain chemistry? Have you worked with TV? Um, I don't want again name names. Uh, where it doesn't work, you're you're on you're in a group. There's four of you, and it's, it's it just doesn't work. I won't name. No, yeah, I get along with everyone. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. She that. really does. No, but it, really it, just this group. I mean, it was so much fun. Even the behind the scenes people. We just we had a good time, and you had to because it was so early in the morning. Yeah, you know, it was tough on our lives. My but... favorite would always be, you know, we would. Uh, you probably noticed we would try to match as often as we could. Right. Oh, you know, right. we all. I want. To... I, no one ever gave me <laughs> that number. <laughs> but we would try to match. <laughs> Why so did you guys inevitably do that? Time, blue you know tie, blue dress, <laughs> and then like uh, some <laughs> orange. Hold thing. on. Hold Hold on. They would share memos for wearing blue today. They would all wear blue that day. No one told me sh- <laughs> I'd show up in orange. Now my kids Why? are watch this. I, 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 you know what? I always meant... Uh, we could, we'll could. we have to beep that out. I'm sorry. Um, why? I always meant to ask you. Well, here's the funny thing. You know, yeah. we were getting up at... Yeah, two, it better be we funny. Getting, we were getting up at 2 o'clock in the morning, and Vanita would wake up, and the first thing she'd see is a text from me that says... What are you wearing? <laughs> Her husband said, what's going on here? I bet you get one from Patrick. What are you wearing? Except he would be showing you what he's wearing. We couldn't get to Rusty. Yeah, Patrick, want to Skype? <laughs> we couldn't get to Rusty because he got there one minute before the show started right. anyway. It's true. It's true. Why didn't you <laughs> include me on the color mansion? You just wanted the, me to The news out? would start, uh, the, the newscast that you were in would start at five, and literally, mm. with Rusty here, he was, <laughs> I'd be doing my weather in. We had no idea that just miraculously you'd hey, up here. I uh, was uh, on the morning show, that show, for 26 years. Wow. For 20 of what? them. Yeah, for 20 of them, the show would be on when I arrived. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had my first hit at, uh, I think it was 6.05. I'd be walking into the building at 6.01, <laughs> put on my makeup. And then and how exactly would you know what the traffic yeah. was doing out there? Well, I what just kind of research I, went into I this? certainly had insight on Interstate 94 and 280. <laughs> right. That's funny. You always talked about the Brand. drive from Deep Haven. <laughs> the time. Brand new. So they, there would be new producers, you know, because the producers rotate through. And they'd be like, where's our traffic? And they'd be like, it's, it's, fine. it's fine. It's fine. He's been doing this for 20 years. And then someone, uh, I won't name names, said, yeah, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Oh, cute, you knucklehead. <laughs> Guess what? You're coming in at 4.30 a.m. now. Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, the newscasts right. start, I mean, th- these days, all around the country, they start so 430. early. 430. Yeah. Some markets at 4, 4 a.m. Yeah, some, yeah, some even early. cities, 4 when, o'clock. When we first started with the traffic report, and no one ever caught wise, our first hit was over St. Paul every day because we left home and field in St. Paul. Oh, that's right. And so, again, you know, the news is on. We get there at... Uh, Lon with totes was the pilot for a while. We'd get there at 5.59. Right, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so, sure. Let's go to Rusty of the Copter. Hey, Where wait. are you? Uh, St. Paul? <laughs> <laughs> Every day! <laughs> wait, what's that there first a, hit? Didn't a uh, story of, you know, one of the Rustyisms, the Cayuga and the Xerxes Cayuga. and all that. Didn't one of those start from the helicopter or you got some of those ideas? Oh, probably. With, I was yeah. doing Cayuga. Or somebody was like called you and they knew that you were above their house or something. Oh, that was, yeah, Hello Burnsville. Hello <laughs> Burnsville, that's right. <laughs> Hello Burnsville. <laughs> I actually had to do, a, and didn't have to do, I was honored to do a speaking, uh, kind of an MC greeting for a, a breast cancer walk, a cancer awareness walk. And it was in Burnsville, and the uh, mayor down there was like, "I just wanted to hear you say hello, Burnsville." <laughs> you can go now. <laughs> well, I think I think the funniest times were uh, doing the Holodazzle parade, yeah. and we'd be all there waving as grand marshals, and all you'd hear is Rusty. Rusty, Rusty. Rusty. It's so true. So we would just kind of back up and let r- let yeah. Rusty do his thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just sit here. you are. You are. And, a it, it, the temperature was a little cooler at the Holodazzle. <laughs> <laughs> Holy buckets! So are you still doing all your big entertainment interviews uh, and all that? Stuff. Working on it, certainly locally, like uh, the cast of the Transformers. You know, you watch the show, Vanita. Absolutely, sorry. <laughs> cast of Tra- Jersey Boys yes. came to town. Mm-hmm. Do you know anything about Modern Family? Don't you know? Yeah, you, know you have a connection, right? Steve so. Levitan is my friend. <laughs> really? Have I not told you this? I didn't know. He just won an Emmy Award. He's I, my buddy. I was hoping to have him on this show. Steve, we got to get you on the 
next episode. You the know, only thing stopping him from coming is he says no. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, he's as good as on, right? <laughs> Very close. <laughs> Do you, so st- close. do you still ask people if they know, if they like Prince and Bob Dylan yeah, and all that stuff? Okay. I do. Just, I miss that. I do. <laughs> I love that. You know that the reason I do it is because you get all the other stuff in your entertainment magazine. You don't get your Minnesota connections. And I actually find some when I go. You ever been to Minnesota? What do you like about Minnesota? You know, you find odd things like uh, Bill Murray's cousins are from. St. So Paul. I have a question. Who was your yeah. favorite interview? You've interviewed. Everyone, so right? Good. Well, for me, it's easy. It's Paul McCartney. Oh, you know, and we were at that, con- that concert. Yeah, yeah. That so concert. good. Yeah, it was great. Oh. Target yep. Field. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so awesome. I uh, got to interview him twice, and then I already told my story about how I met him once at the Four Seasons Hotel in the and you, gym. In the gym, and I you couldn't didn't, say you anything because you were too nervous. I was so Chris Farley or something. Yes, I was so Chris Farley. That's awesome. Before we go to break, because we have to hit a break, I wanted to hear from Jim Guy, who you. You worked with Jim Guy. Yes, I did. Brad, Briefly. Were you? Briefly. Briefly. Yep. Not an easy guy to replace. In fact, people still call in and say, when <laughs> yeah. I was there, whatever happened to Jim Guy? Yeah. <laughs> so, folks, I, I, didn't, I don't know if we announced this, but, uh, yeah, Jim Guy, through the magic of Skype, uh, he also wanted to be part of the show. He's out there in Seattle. Seattle. Mm-hmm. So I worked together uh, with Jim for 12 years on the morning show. Mm-hmm. Here's Jim Guy. Or let me tell Sue that we're doing this so she doesn't yell, Jim! Yeah. Hang on a second. <laughs> And we're back. How does this can? Is this looking okay then? It looks good, yeah. And uh, does your dog need to be moved? <laughs> it's up to you in your manhood. <laughs> if you're fine with it. Hi, hi, Rusty. I'm Jim's dog. <laughs> That's not a real dog. <laughs> Update the folks. You went from Minnesota. You you've landed several places. Went to Minnes- from Minnesota, went to San Diego for a short time and spent a uh, winter in San Diego in 2000, end of 2005, 2006. Nice. Six. Then went to Phoenix, Arizona and did some freelance work for the CBS station in Phoenix. Wow. And then uh, my mom lives in Jacksonville, Florida, so we just decided. These are so- all warm weather places. You left Minnesota and said. <laughs> We're going to stay warm. <laughs> I've got, you know, 12 years of cold to get rid of. So we went to Florida, and then I did some freelance work. And then we ended up in Fresno, California Yeah. Uh, for three years. Wow. So, and then Seattle now. For, and how many years now in Seattle? September 11th will be five years. Oh, yeah, I, September, that's Reed's birthday. And, uh, Reed's going to be 13, by the way. Just so. You know, every time I see pictures of your kids, I think, Wow, he's really old. <laughs> Just kids yeah. look like they're all in college now. Uh, back at you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll actually be back in the beautiful Twin Cities area uh, in October because my stepson will be getting married outside Stillwater. So we're back for 10 days in October. So, well, yeah, you can buy me lunch. Yeah, I, I definitely do that. And do you still get, I know we talk about this, but you still get uh, Jim Guy. I remember you from Minnesota. Happens a lot out here. There's a lot of Minnesotans out here in Seattle. The two cities are kind of similar, not winter-wise, but just in culture, things to do, theater, restaurants. It's very similar. People come out here and they love Seattle. But I'll occasionally get an email like, I remember when you used to be on the air with Rusty. We, hey, great, great to see you. So I still occasionally get people. And it's funny, I got an email from our former real estate agent in Minnesota back in the Twin Cities this week, in fact. Uh, nine years ago today, we sold our house in Centerville. That's when I took off to San Diego, but it's been nine years. Wow. Yeah. And, uh, we've got uh, on the show here with us will be uh, Vanita. Do you have any messages for lovely Vanita? Tell her go- I hope all is well. I see her on Facebook all the time. Yeah. And tell her I said hi. I hope things are going well for her. She's a good person. She is one of those always happy, always positive. Do we have any dirt on here? Is there anything? Did she ever push you down in the hallway or steal your cupcake in the lunchroom? Anything? She came to my yoga class a few times. She's, <laughs> yeah, uh, she did well. You were, uh, you were quite into yoga. Are you still doing it? Occasionally I do. I don't teach it anymore. Uh, I occasionally do it. I've really gotten more into bike riding out here. So I'm like, yeah crazy enough to go biking a hundred miles in a day now occasionally and so really into biking 
Wow. But I still do some of the yoga. Yes, definitely. Not like I used to. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, so do you, do you miss Minnesota? Definitely. Um, yeah, we go back there and after about a half a day, we're like, wow, this is, it's really nice. And I would think that if my wife, if Sue has her wish down the road, we may, uh, we may end up back in the Twin Cities someday. It's yeah. not, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely something that we keep in the back of our mind. Plus we've got, you know, we've got family there. My stepson going to be getting married in October. So he won't be leaving there. That's home for him. So, you know, we've got yeah. family there now. So we've got good ties, good friends, you, Mike, Angela, you know, Scott. So yeah. we go back and it's like, wow, we love this place. And, and by the way, you need to clarify, based on the background, the brick wall there, you're not in an insane asylum, right? Or are you? Are you locked up? I thought we weren't going to bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> this your office? Thanks for bringing that whole prison thing up. Uh, this is uh, one of the spare rooms. This is my office, yes. Okay. That's good. a brick wall. Okay. Yeah. Everything's fine, though. You're it's the, okay, the, yes. The medication's <laughs> well. And... I'm not in prison. You're not hearing the voices <laughs> in your head anymore. You're good. What? <laughs> Who's Stop up? talking. Who's What's that? that? <laughs> and this, uh, say hi to Mark Inther. He was also at the Mighty Five, and... Uh, He's one of the one of the good guys and happens to uh, be your boss now again. The reason I'm here in Seattle and it's great working with him. He's we we yeah, that's where the Minnesota stories come up. I'll end up in his office and he'll say, remember when you and Rusty worked with you know, Kale or worked with Julie Nelson? Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> There's been a lot of people have gone through the doors over yes. there. Yeah, definitely. All There's right. people at this station that I'm at right now. Uh, Dennis Bounds. Do you remember Dennis Bounds? Oh, yeah. Well, when I first started, he was there, yeah. He's the main anchor here. Yeah, yeah Mark likes to keep the uh, the Minnesota connection going, so. Well, tell Mark if he needs a uh, goofy, extremely handsome traffic reporter slash entertainment guy. Uh, we'll call that guy from Los Angeles. Yeah, thanks for <laughs> No, no, oh, me. Oh, you met you. I'm I need a gig. <laughs> I need a job. <laughs> It'll happen. All right. Well, I'm sure uh, when I run this tape on Sunday, everyone wishes you well. So uh, we'll talk and soon. I see. Good to see you. I'm glad things are going well. I hope your podcasts are doing well. I'm glad I could be on here and uh, say hi to Vanita. Say hi to, you know, I feel bad for your buddy in L.A., Steve. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I saw him on the Emmys the other night, and boy... He's struggling. <laughs> See, even Jim, Jim knows he's my friend, Steve Levitan. Jim guy. Oh, and that's, he's looking good. Yeah. So if he moves back to Minnesota, I can replace him again. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before. I, I've been yeah. through that rigmarole. Yeah. That wasn't easy. So you get, you get a vibe on the chemistry and how that, yeah. and how that works. Sure. And, then it, and it's, it, it's not a guarantee when you get a job anchoring a show that you do get along with your coworker. I am so grateful for the people I met at Channel 5. You guys, Absolutely. Jim. I mean, so fortunate to meet so many great people. I mm -hmm. tell you, it's just a great group. It's been fun. We do have to take that break, though. We have to uh, go and get a word from Mac Men. Do you have any towels? <laughs> <laughs> we'll do an ice bucket challenge. And when challenge. we come back, I want to talk about something that really bothers me. Okay, good. Oh, this, is that that? this is a four-hour okay. show. I like that. And then when we come back, let's also talk about if there's anything we didn't say when we left our viewers on Channel 5. All right. All right. So we'll be right back. If you have Mac computers or iPhones and iPads, you know how great they are. We want to thank Mac Men, our show sponsors. You know what? There are times when your iPod or iPhone needs some troubleshooting or repair, and no one likes to unplug, pack up, and haul their computer system across town or through a mall. Hell no. That's where Mac Men comes in. They make house calls. They'll come to your home or office to solve your computer problems, set up your network, train you on software solutions, or even replace the smashed screen on your iPhone or iPad. Check them out at www.macmen.it. That's macmen.it. Or call 612-345-8005. Let's do the lyrics. <laughs> we have a bar.
Barbara connection. We love Barbara. I, mean, I was going to say, don't mind me. <laughs> Clearly, we have no connection at all. Anita likes anything from the Scorpions and heavy metal, but we to also Barbara. have a place for Babs. And she could jam to uh, ACDC. I've oh, seen absolutely. her do that in commercial breaks. <laughs> I knew this was going to get a reaction. You actually went to Streisand last time she was yes. in town, right? Amazing. Yeah. She was amazing. You were in the mosh pit for that one? <laughs> <laughs> I listened to her greatest hits after my yeah. last day at Channel 5. Yeah. It was my pity party. Uh, I had one, pi- one oh, day I, of pity party. I've had a few of those. Okay. <laughs> I I'd like to day. attend them all the time. <laughs> He's got another one scheduled right after the show. <laughs> It'll be Barbara live from the forum, 1974. <laughs> this song, though, is one of those songs that we're, I know it's sappy and it's cliched, but it does bring emotion, right? You, you, it forces you to think about Cry. Oh my god, don't make me cry. <laughs> We're criers, the two of us. <laughs> we saw you cry on a podcast a couple weeks ago. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I saw that. So oh. anyway, Brad wanted to talk about what bothers him. This Brad? bothers me big time, and it happened today. <laughs> oh, what? I thought you meant this song. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this company. No. <laughs> Tell me if this has ever happened to you. This oh. never happened to me before. I'm going to take out my wallet because I'm getting ready to oh. travel east, so I thought yeah. I should have a few dollars with me, right? Yeah. So I go up to an ATM mm-hmm. to get some money, right? And this is the money that comes out. And I don't know how closely you're going to be see th- seeing this, but no. hmm. these this is the money that comes out, okay? This is the first dollar bill. It's missing about 10% of it, right? Out of the ATM. Out of the wow. ATM. Does I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Here's the second dollar bill. Oh. That's missing about 10%. Oh my God. Or not dollar, $20. No this is one of my favorites. Way. This came out. It's like... And there's a Monopoly guy on the front. <laughs> it's this actually came. I'm not making this up. Out of the ATM. Wait, ATM Wait there's do you more. Go to? Look. <laughs> yeah. This came out of the ATM. Wow. All on my way Paul. here. Look, Rusty. Do you ever have this experience <laughs> in your wallet where there may be more than one twenty? <laughs> not anymore. Look, I am not kidding you. Every one. I don't. Mr. I can't. Money bags. <laughs> well, I'm traveling. I needed to get a few dollars. Have you ever seen anything yeah, like that? Can I borrow one of these? I'll, I'll replace it. I think we'll all one. <laughs> I think someone who loaded the ATM was angry with their clearly, job. Clearly. <laughs> oh, and there was this was the last one I got. Are Everyone is ripped, torn, cut, like, burned. <laughs> I think one of them is burned. I hate my job of loading the money. So that's what bothers me. Can I say the bank? Should I? I would never no, normally do I've that. I've never seen that before in my life. That's so. okay. I won't I say the bank. They usually are crisp. Because I'm going to assume know. this is a one-time thing, I'm sure, but I, I can't believe that. I've never seen that before. So that's what bothers me. Like, what? Anything that bothers me bothers me at this moment. And then tomorrow I forgot about it. I know. What third world country are you going to for your ATM? Exactly. Um. <laughs> the Bank of Tijuana. So, Patrick, we, we had a uh, goodbye show for you. <laughs> we got in trouble, but oh, we yeah. had a goodbye show for you. I, yeah. Was there anything? I mean, I think I had to ask this last time you were on. Did anything you wanted to say that you weren't able to say on that show? Oh, I think we said enough. <laughs> <laughs> People no, are right I, I now Googling that old show. They want to find that. See what, what did YouTube happen? Again. I, 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 I want to reiterate what I said then. Yeah. Uh, which in a, uh, It's been a while now. It's been seven, eight months. And to, to have a viewer still come up, you know, that much later and remember you and say we miss the team. It's not just we... We really miss the team, and Patrick included. But, yeah. um, but it, to, to still continually hear that is awesome. Yeah. And in all the other places that I've worked... Um, you don't, you didn't necessarily feel that. So yeah. anybody that comes up to me uh, and says hello, I love. And really you will it. accept tattered twenties. You're <laughs> like, I do. You Even have if they're no burned, issue. torn, ripped. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> that does not bother you, for no. the record. It does not bother me at all. <laughs> right. Uh, and do you? Uh, well, I'll get back to you, Br- Brad. You did. You well, had, you had a going away party. Had but a going on away the party. Air, no, by the way, <laughs> Benita was there. I don't know where you guys were. <laughs> I extended private invitations. I, Neither of you were there. Do we want to talk about? <laughs> it's kind of hard going to parties and then people yeah. go, "What are you up to?" <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this needs to be about Brad. Let's not talk about. <laughs> no, it was. Uh, we were. I heard it was fun. When I was when sad. I came here, I I really thought I was going to be here for a year. Yeah. And that's because I was sitting out what we call a no compete clause at another TV station in Philadelphia where I was. And I wanted to jump to a different station. You got to wait a year. So I had time to kill. So I figured, why not kill time in Minnesota? Wow. And the truth is, I stayed here 10 years because I wanted to. Yeah. Because of the people of Minnesota. 
the summers in Minnesota, mm-hmm. the falls, the springs, not the winters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no part of the winters. But it's the people. Absolutely. Lo- you know, one year turned into ten and a half years, and that says probably everything that needs to be said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Loved it. Loved mm-hmm. it. And I'm going to go back to um, back to home, back to family, and that's why I'm going. Um, and working at, as I mentioned before, a couple stations in do, New York do City they, and do Philly. They need a weatherman? <laughs> I will get that. I will, I will ask them. I'll, yes. I'll just put myself in the <laughs> trunk of your car. But I will miss it. this, and I've already vowed uh, with friends. I just came back from Wisconsin uh, for a weekend party with friends at a, yeah. at a cabin there. That I will be back next summer, no doubt. Yeah. Uh, you know, why wouldn't you? It's friends with cabins are nice right. friends. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. One friend has a cabin, the other one has a boat, and I plan yeah. to rotate between the two. Uh, <laughs> you would know, Mr. Wise. <laughs> I try and keep those friends handy. <laughs> Uh, and then, all right, Vanita, you had a, you're going away. We had a day and a cake and all that. It, it was, was wonderful. And all I have to say is I'm super grateful. I um, loved my almost 18 years at Channel 5. I'm not bitter. I'm super happy. People ask me, are you okay? You know, do you miss it? I miss this. Mm-hmm. I miss these people and other people there. But, you know, you move on and you have a life. I have a 14-year-old, an 11-year-old, a great husband, fabulous friends in St. Paul way away from here. <laughs> yes. This was a long yeah, drive. Did you know how to get here? <laughs> I got lost. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> behind in the all woods. The, behind all the fancy houses. But, no, I'm, I'm happy. And I have good memories. Yeah. So. And I, of course, never got a goodbye show. <laughs> This is it. Yeah, it's like, Let's go ahead. What happened to him? <laughs> <laughs> Gone. Uh, Why? Well, I, 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 I don't know what. I guess I never thought I would be actually having to say goodbye. I thought, you know, after. <laughs> no one did. After 26 <laughs> years, I thought, well, I'm pretty much gonna die here, <laughs> and I was fine with that because it was a great gig, and I, and I also have a, no bad feelings, and I, I actually told. The Hubbard family that I felt very lucky to have done what Absolutely. I did. Absolutely. A 30 year run at that station, 30 years and six months. And it's like that I was very lucky when I hooked on to them and the experiences I had all around the world, meeting Paul McCartney, sure. a lot of great stuff. And so now with all that experience, uh, hopefully new things will happen. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. We'll do. And especially that job that starts at five and ends at nine Oh one. <laughs> the king, <laughs> the king of the four-hour workday. They don't need to hear kid. this. Nine oh one. Where's Rusty? I think he's probably already back in bed. <laughs> he's catching a flight to New York because. And you got... used to. Oh, you went New York, L.A., New York one weekend, didn't yeah, you? I mean, it was yeah. crazy. Off on a Friday. Yeah, I think my best was uh, in Las Vegas on the Strip on Friday, and then Saturday night on Beale Street. No, uh, not Bourbon Street. In New Orleans, it's like, what'd you do this weekend? I was in two of the biggest party towns. I was in Vegas and New Orleans, right. and then back to work on Monday. Well, what about when you went to Moscow and came yeah. back with the 30-second story? I don't know. <laughs> I was like, what was that? They send him to Moscow <laughs> for weeks, and he comes back with, one with a story, that, one clip, What's that your... airs on TV for about 30 seconds. I know. What's your point? <laughs> My point is, where can we get that kind you of... You were supposed to enterprise all these different <laughs> yeah. stories. You to come back with people. hours worth of material. You get back with 30 seconds. You know, it was one of the great things I love, too, is like for a while there, it was uh, every sweeps, so February, November, May, the sweeps, I'd do something for the morning show. Go live somewhere. Because uh, he didn't do much the rest of the time. <laughs> there's that. But then I'm the, kidding. I'm then kidding. the one, uh, Chris Berg, uh, was the new uh, news director at the time, and we were having a, a really cold winter. And he's like, let's brainstorm some ideas. And I said, well, how about I go live from a tropical location, thinking that'll never happen. <laughs> and he's like, get back to me on how much that'll cost. And I went, oh, oh, so we're in. So we're ABC, and I called Disney, and Disney's like, We'll fly you down. We'll we'll supply you a crew. And I go, guess what, Mr. Bird? <laughs> <laughs> it's free. <laughs> I was on a but plane the, only the catch, next week. The only catch is I need to stay there for six weeks. I did. <laughs> I, did. I did. So, yeah, that, uh, again, I was very lucky. That was a great gig. And I hope uh, everyone, while I was doing that job, felt my enjoyment because yeah. I sure loved the job. And I love this. And I love hanging out with you people. And it's going to be sad that – 
This might be it. The mm. last time the four of us do television together. We could mm. we could Skype it someday. Yeah. How about that? We should. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're going to hit it big in New York and <laughs> Philly, and will you remember us when you're in the Who? big time? We, we may very well <laughs> be doing this show again in four weeks at least. So. I'll be We're, back. I'll be back. We, we need you to do well. <laughs> so the plan is the, the car is packed and you start uh, hitting the road. I am, yes, I'm hitting the road uh, tomorrow, actually. So uh, it's, a, I don't know, about a 1,200 mile drive the all, all my stuff will meet me there yeah. movers have taken that so it's just me and my my plants <laughs> and plants and survive 1200 miles and you're <laughs> me and my plants it's a very hopefully there's a nice <laughs> lovely young lady waiting for you out there I'm yes. sure there are <laughs> or <few>. 10 <laughs> We can catch you, Vanita, at the StarTribune.com. StarTribune.com. Please log on, and you can catch my videos there. And Patrick will catch you walking the kids to the park. <laughs> yeah, I'll be at Target, followed by Sam's, and then uh, maybe I'll hit the Applebee's uh, into the park. Do you think, uh... <laughs> oh. Awkward. <laughs> Let's do an ice bu- bucket challenge. Yes, right. yes. That may happen. Thank Stick you around. so much. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Miss you guys. Thank you. <laughs> so fun. Oh my god. <laughs>